Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Have you ever made one of these before? It's a tin can telephone. Somebody talks into this end, and the other person puts this end to their ear to listen, and sound energy travels down the string and vibrates the end of the can. Well, we don't communicate like this anymore. We use science and technology to communicate, and that's the big idea. Gone are the days of using tin cans and string and sound energy or using smoke signals. Through science, we've discovered that we could actually use electricity to communicate. Through science, we've discovered that we could use electricity to send signals and communicate with each other. So take a look at this. It's a working model of a telegraph. A telegraph works like this. Electricity flows through these wires, and the electricity actually turns this metal pole into a magnet. When it becomes a magnet, this piece of metal is pulled down, and I can tap out all kinds of patterns. And those patterns would be letters and numbers that I could send from one end down to another. Let's see how this works. The battery is going to provide our electricity, but nothing's happening right now because there's a break in the flow of the electricity. There's a break in our circuit. And that break is right here in our telegraph lever. We're going to zoom in and take a closer look so you can see that break. So when I push down on this telegraph, the circuit is complete. Electricity can flow through the wires. It makes this metal pole into a magnet. That magnet attracts this piece of metal, allowing me to tap out a pattern of letters and numbers. Let's see our telegraph in action. Here we go. Think about that. I could send messages over really long distances from town to town, but I would have to run telegraph lines from each town to the other town. So I could send messages with my telegraph. But through science and technology, we've designed better ways to communicate. So we no longer use sound waves traveling down a string and we don't use electricity traveling down wires. Now we use energy, which travels in waves through the air. Have you ever seen these? They're walkie-talkies. And these communicate by sending energy waves through the air. Take a look at this. Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. How did that work? Well, energy waves were sent through the air from one walkie-talkie to the other. But there's a problem with this kind of communication. If these walkie-talkies are too far apart, they won't work, and I can only talk to one person at a time. Through science, we've discovered that we can use the same type of energy traveling in waves through the air to make cell phones work. And this is how a lot of people today communicate. Cell phones send and receive those waves of energy traveling through the air. But just like our telegraph needed extra towers or poles to make those lines go further and further, cell phones sending or receiving those waves of energy, cell phones use towers to send those waves of energy further and further. Science and technology has made communication today so interesting and exciting. Think about this. I could send dots and dashes with a telegraph, but now, today, I can send pictures, I can send video, I can talk with somebody and see them at the same time. It is absolutely amazing how we communicate today because of science and technology. If you want to learn more about science and technology, check out our videos on our YouTube channel, Fun Science Demos. <laughs> Science is so cool, and I have to take this call. Thanks for watching. Hey, how's it going?